How do you create and export a GIF in Camtasia? Now, creating the actual GIF itself is such an open-ended scenario because literally anything could be a GIF. Right now we have an animation for the purpose of this tutorial, but it could also be a text animation, a meme, or you maybe just cut out five to 10 seconds out of a video of you talking. Could be literally anything. So. I'm going to leave the creative part to you so you can decide what you want as a GIF. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to export as a GIF and what settings to use. To do that, just go here on the top right where it says export, click on it, local file. And this might look a little bit different on a Windows, but it's the exact same principle. So right now it asks you, where do you want to save your file on your computer? But what's most important is file format. You want to make sure that instead of MP4 or MOV, you select animated GIF. All right. And now let's go to options and see what we have there. So for the frame rate, you can go with automatic, but that's just going to take the same frame rate settings from your project, which might be a little bit higher, like 30, 50 or 60 frames per second even. So I would just rather keep it at 25 because that's more than enough for a GIF to be smooth and we don't want the GIF to be too big in file size. For dimensions, you can keep the project dimensions. In our case right now, it's gonna be 4K and I'm gonna show you the difference in file size with a second export later. So for loops, most often you want this to be infinite. I've never seen a GIF that only plays once, twice, three times or so on. Literally all the GIFs that I've ever seen just loop to infinity. So they play on and on and on. And then there's a bit of an advanced setting here that says enable dithering. I wouldn't really bother with this too much. The only situation where I would focus on this is if you would export the GIF file and for some reason the colors look a little bit unnatural. Maybe then I would do another export and enable this to see if it improves the colors. I'm not going to go deep into explaining how this works because it's pretty advanced. But anyway, just try both things if uh, the first one doesn't work. But most often than not, you're just going to disable it and you're going to be just fine. All right, now let's export this and I'm going to call this 4K because I want us to compare the file size later and I'm going to export with uh, smaller dimensions in a second. All right, now let's uh, go ahead and export this again. This time I'll just call it full HD, go to options and for project dimensions, you can literally do like 50% or just do custom and just input your own width and height. And it's already the correct ones for full HD. So just click OK and export again. All right, now let's look into the folder and see what we have. So we have two files right now. The 4K GIF, as you can see here, has 12 megabytes. And the full HD version has only four megabytes, which is literally like, what, 30% of the 4K one. And in most cases, you want to have the GIF with a smaller file size because it's much, much better for streaming online. So in order to see if this works, you might have to right click on it, open with, and usually a browser like Safari or Google Chrome will play this perfectly. So let's see how it looks. All right, there you go. So this is how you can create and export a GIF from Camtasia. For high quality stock animation assets that you can use in Camtasia with drag and drop simplicity, so that you can have professional animations at your fingertips within minutes, make sure to visit videoplasty.com.